Hey everybody, I'm Russo. I do a little work here and there. And this is the Research Workshop, where I try things out because, hey, somebody's got to, right? And this time we're talking about 6mm scale bases. Here it says for any occasion, but, uh, you know, you can't expect any occasion or for it to work for any occasion, I suppose, because that would cut out the possibility for further videos. Still, moving on. You can see we have six different bases here all spinning around, probably a little too fast to look at, but we will rectify that in just a moment. First, a short description of the process here and of what was the desired end result. So the process. Here I have taken US pennies, which are 3 quarters of an inch, or 19.05 millimeters in diameter. I've slathered stick glue on one side, used super glue to harden that stick glue, and then painted them a bunch of different ways. The intended purpose was to make grass in a 6 millimeter scale. I do have some static grass for 28 millimeter scale stuff, but you know, it's like a, a high alfalfa, and it's probably not going to work in most circumstances. If I have, what, a big field, then yeah, it would work pretty good for that. But for this, yeah, I don't know. I would kind of like something a little bit easier. So that's the idea. Let's take a little bit closer look at what we have. As I said, there are six bases here, all made the same way. The first one is grass with a bit of dirt. The second one is mud or wet dirt with a bit of grass. Then we have dry dirt, you know, with the same texture. So those could be little rocks or clumps of dirt. Or you could make them grass, I just made it dirt here. The next one is supposed to be sand, though I suppose I could have gotten it a little yellower. I know sand isn't generally actually yellow, and I think this works pretty well for a sand color anyway. The next one would be concrete with a bit of rubble. Most of these uh, games that you would play with stuff like this, they're war games, so concrete with rubble. And lastly, snow. So, uh, the, the secret is a blue undercoat, if you're wondering. But, moving on, the process. Luckily, this is a pretty easy one. Like I said, you need stick glue and super glue and uh, pennies. You can see what the penny looks like when it's painted and all of that. So, that's sort of what we're going to work toward. Your choice in glue stick doesn't really matter that much. I use the disappearing purple just because it is purple and it makes it a little bit easier to see. Step one is easy enough. You just take the penny and put it on the glue stick. Then move it around. Just move it around, move it around, move it around. You really want to get a lot more glue than you would really want to put on stuff normally on this thing because if you peel it up a little bit you can see how it forms little strings. So that's what we're going to be doing in a second. But we got to get the glue on there first. So that's pretty good. It's uneven right now. But the next step is to take the glue and put it on your finger. That's right. Put it on your finger. Um, and this is important because your finger has oil on it and it's a water-based glue. So for this next step to work, we need water-based stuff. So muss it around a bit and then just dab it. Dab dab, 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 and dab, 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 and that's pretty good. I could do some more work to it, but you know, difficult looking through a viewfinder. Then you're going to take your super glue, and you're going to do two drips, not anymore, just one and two. That's pretty good. And I will say now, don't worry if super glue gets on your fingers, it's going to get on your fingers, the penny's going to get stuck to your fingers. So get your toothpick and rake that stuff around. Let's just move it, move it around, get total coverage. That's what we're looking for. And uh, if you're not careful, you might muss down some of those stiff peaks that you made, but it's not that big a deal. And, oh, here, look at this. Definitely stuck to the fingers, and you'll notice the big white sections that have your fingerprints on them, so you're going to have to be careful about these things. My solution, however, is a fairly simplistic one, which is 220 grit sandpaper, just because it's what I have. And this will take a minute, um, just because I'm going to go all the way around the whole thing, and I don't want to scrape any of the detail off the top, though you could, you know, you could if that's what you wanted. But yeah, just get those little flaky bits off of the sides. 
and uh, you can already see it's pretty good detail. Right now you can make out all of the detail from the penny, but I assure you it's not actually there anymore. I mean, it's there, but it's underneath. So really nothing to worry about. And uh, yeah, there we go. We got a penny that's looking pretty good, and now the only step is to prime and paint. And for my purposes in priming, I know this isn't really like an official primer, but uh, chisel tip sharpie. First you go around the edges and pay special attention to get the, the bottom edge on the side that you haven't put anything on, because that'll show through sometimes. And then you can come back and color in the top. So uh, after this, you just have to paint it any of those ways. You're going to be using a, a water-based paint, so the alcohol-based Sharpie marker should stay on there and make sure that you don't start seeing penny through. But you might, so just be careful. Uh, either way, this texture, like I said, will work for all sorts of things. So even though my primary concern was the uh, grass with a little bit of dirt, really the strength of this is that you get a little bit of texture. And really, with a little bit of texture, you can well, paint that however you want. So yeah, that's it. Six millimeter scale bases for any occasion, almost just about don't sue me. So, until next time, you've been watching the Research Workshop on Rousseau Works, and I'm Rousseau, out.